Welcome back, my ASVAB party people. Anderson here, your ASVAB coach. And tonight, we're going to be going over systems of equations, word problems. Make sure to check your calendar because it's at 6 p.m. Eastern time for two whole hours. We're going to be masters at this by the end of the time that we have there. And if you're interested in joining, hey, go ahead. Check out the description of this video or that link or the card that you'll see up here to learn how to sign up and get started. And so with that said, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you're not because we've got videos dropping and we're happy to share that with you. So let's go ahead and share and really learn how to do this problem. Nice, smooth, easy, and simple so you can raise your score. So the problem says a biology class has a total. As always, in every arithmetic reasoning problem or word problem that you'll do, no matter what, you need to make sure that you read the question first. Reading the information in the problem itself is not gonna do you any justice. You're not gonna feel any more confident because you're not gonna know what the point is. We need to know what the point is first before we move on. That way we at least have a sense of an objective, a goal. So with that said, go straight to the question sentence right over here. So it says, how many females are in the class? Okay, sounds good. That's pretty straightforward, right? Like, would you rather be given a ton of information? Like, hey, there are 31 students. The number of males is this many more than females. Or would you rather start off with, hey, I'm going to show you a problem and your goal is to find out the number of females, right? The second one, I think it's rhetorical there, right? The second one makes so much more sense. If before you're thrown into the wild, if you knew what you're up against, that's what you want. And so let's get to it here. Starting off, what do I want? Well, what I want is I want the number of females. So I'll just say number of females equals blank. You know, I'll just go ahead and say F for now. Um, you know, we'll go ahead and solve it for, you know, we'll make some equation or something, but I'm just gonna say F for females. Let's be real, my ASVAB party people. You're enjoying this YouTube video, but why don't you join me for a free class? I host a free class once a week for two hours. So imagine two hours of free ASVAB math instruction by yours truly, where you get to ask questions, grow with me, raise your score and get the job you want. So go ahead, click the link here or in the description to sign up for free. And from there, I'll see you in the next class. But until then, let's get back to the math party. Now, the next step is, hey, look, after I know what I want, now let's look at the information that we have. Now let's check everything out and see what we can do to prepare ourselves to solve this. And that just takes some patience, collect the information and try to notice the connections. So what do we notice here? A biology class has a total of 31 students. Students, okay, cool, sounds good. So I'll just write this out here. I'm gonna highlight it. Total, 31 students. So I'll just say right here, total equals 31. And whenever we're talking about the total of a number of people, well, we're adding up, right? We're just getting the sum, we're adding everything together. So we're not really too shaken up by that so far. Total of 31 just means we're adding up to get 31. Now, what else do I see? I see this as the number of males is 13 more than the number of females. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, when in doubt, draw it out. So again, the number of males is 13 more than the number of females. So let's go ahead and write that out here. Males is, let me go ahead and circle that five, four, 17 times for you. What does the word is mean in math? Equals is, was, will be, are, have, all of those mean, yep, equals. And so boom, males equals. And then we see right here that I just so elegantly covered up. <laughs> Let me go ahead and take that out of the way. 13 more than the number of females. 13 more than, what does that mean? That means we're adding 13 more than females. So females plus 13, that's the number of males. And so that's what we'll do. So we'll say the number of males is equal to females plus 13, plus 13 right there. So we've written down our information. We know what we want. We know what we have. How the heck are we supposed to solve this? You know, where can we solve for females? So this is where you have to really just take a step back and ask yourself, well, let's check out our knowledge. Let's see what we have. Oh, one thing I noticed, total equals 31. When you check that out, what are we adding up? Males and females. And so with that said, what we can do is I can go ahead and just move this 
you know, over here. And I'm going to take total and I'm going to write it out again. I'm going to say total is equal to males plus females. And I can actually replace that right back in there. Again, you're adding up to 31 and you're adding up the number of students, males and females. And so with that said, again, how does that help us? Well, the reason that this helps us is for this right here. Notice how we have males plus females equals 31. So by itself, I couldn't solve this by itself because when you look at it, you have two variables. You have M and F. You, you can't solve an equation that has two variables in it. But if we had one variable, we could absolutely solve this. And what I'm getting at, I'm getting at substitution. You want to substitute or replace one of the letters with the other. But it's really, really, really uh, a matter of being careful here. Because if you're not careful, you might do it wrong. So pay attention here. Put your pencils down. Just watch me. I got you. So what you're going to do here is notice that you have males equals females plus 13. Everyone, just answer this under your breath. Is this M males? Does that represent males? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. So if males is females plus 13, then shouldn't this right here, that M, that males right there, shouldn't that be females plus 13 as well? Yes, it should. It absolutely should. And so what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite this equation over here. And let me just get that out of the way. But we're going to rewrite this equation over here. But we are going to replace males with females plus 13. And so to keep things consistent, allow me to just go ahead and replace that females with F. That way it's consistent. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get rid of the M and I'm going to replace it with M. Again, M is just females plus 13. All I did was replace the M with its equivalent or the same value in terms of F. Yes, this is legal in mathematics. This is called a system of equations. And the method that we're using is substitution. So look that up if you need more practice, especially if you're in the all access program already. You know you have plenty of practice. Make sure to check out the study guide that I assigned to you because you're gonna have tons of practice on this. I got you. Hit me up if you need more. I, again, I, I, this is one of those topics that if you get down, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So with that, here we are. We're gonna go ahead and solve this because we're looking for F, we're looking for females. We can solve it right here. We're good. We're absolutely good. And just like you're watching this video for free here on YouTube, I got more free materials for you, my ass bad party people. We've got a free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every single mistake and identify those topics that you need to crush and work on. And on top of that, you can get a free class with me on Zoom once a week. And so that's all included in my free practice test with my free class included. Click that link in this video or in the description, sign up, keep learning for free and keep raising your score. I'm proud of you. Let's keep working hard and let's get back to the problem. So what are we gonna do? Combine those like terms first. We have two Fs, two Fs together make, well, two F, nice and easy. And then over there we have the plus 13 equals 31. And now what we're gonna do is solve that equation. We're done, that's it, solve this and we're good. So with all that said, let's go ahead and uh, let's make some more room here. I'm gonna make this a little smaller. So if you need to see this, just go ahead and rewind. You're good. And put that right over there. Move that up here. And let's get to work. So solving equations is the art of working backwards. We see plus 13. We'll subtract 13. After subtracting 13, we know that that's going to cancel out on the left. 31 minus 13, that's going to be 18. If you're ever unsure of how to subtract things like that, instead of subtracting, trying to do 13 all at once, mental math here. Subtract 10, then subtract 3, 13. So 31 minus 10, 21. 21 minus 3, 18. That's a lot easier than trying to do it all at once, right? Right. So with that, we have 2F still there equals 18. Then all we have to do is divide both sides by 2. And we are good. So let me not cut you guys off right there. Let me go ahead and put that right there. So both sides divided by 2 cancels out on the left, giving you F or females. The number for females is 9. So we have nine females in the class. We're good. And if you want to check your work, then plug it back into this situation. You have nine females and 13 more males. So nine plus 13, that's going to give us, well, that's going to be 22. So 22 males, nine females added together, 
and you still get 31 total students. And so there it is, my 40 people. And so if you have any questions on this, let me know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Go ahead, let me know. And we're doing a good job with you so far. But also, remember, we have a class tonight. If you're watching this video the day that it dropped, we have a video or a class on this, two hours. If you want to raise your score, lower that stress, and guarantee the results, hit me up. I got your back. And so without further ado, guys, I'm Anderson, your ASVAB coach, and I'll see you in tonight's class. Let's ace the ASVAB. Cheers. And before you go, if you like what you saw and you want to raise your score with thousands of practice problems just like that, so you can lower that test anxiety, raise that confidence, go to this link right here to check out the full program. There's a video that shows you exactly how it works, but you're going to get lessons, guided practice, worksheets, speed drills, and everything that you need to feel supported from day one all the way until you pass. Again, I'm Coach Anderson, and I'll see you soon.